morning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we have got the main man from Blazing Saddles and the Paper Moon, and the list goes on and on. And he's a whole lot better looking than Brad Pitt right here. Good morning, good uh, Burton. How are you? Uh, hey, good morning. I'm I'm very good. Thank you. Uh, you did miss one of my big ones, though. Oh, you did miss. You missed Soccer Dog. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot that one. You, you <laughs> I can't keep up with all of them. You've been in this for a while. <laughs> uh, soccer Dog, uh, about somewhere between 14 and 16 people saw it. You know? <laughs> that was my favorite movie. Actually, my grandkids like that movie, so yeah. I've been forced to watch it. Uh, that's all right. Uh, Sherry, how are you? I'm doing good. How'd you like your care package? Did you like the Duke's oh, mayonnaise? It was wonderful and oh, and, and uh, but I have to tell you, I haven't been able to eat any of it, not even the mayonnaise. Uh, but that's the one thing that we're still having trouble with me is my my appetite. I don't want to really eat anything. I'm living on something called Boost. Oh yes, it's, yes, I'm and, familiar with that. I have four or five of them a day, and that's equal to uh, uh, three square meals. But I am, in the last four or five days, I've, I'm uh, just forcing myself to eat, you know, regular good food. Right. Uh, right. Well, Packy's going to talk uh, to you after the after you get off the air. He's going to talk to you about a way to enhance. There's something special that I can give you to, to enhance your appetite, appetite a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm bewildered. <laughs> oh, you just wait. You'll be really bewildered. <laughs> it's like a southern, it's what we call boost down here in Georgia. It's what you call what? Boost in Georgia. <laughs> uh, is it, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it? Does it come in pint bottles? <laughs> <laughs> well, know, well, you got some good news, man. You are absolutely cancer-free. That is great, great news. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, and it was a short period of time, uh, a little bit l- uh, more than six months. And, boy, we will, they got in there. And, and even though it was short, it was uh, really... Uh, extensive, right? And boy, and I was sick a lot. Oh, I bet. But, I bet. Mm. But I'm, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fine. Now. Oh yeah, we got it. Whoop now! Gosh yeah, she yeah. got excited. Yeah, and and they told me all along that I was gonna beat it. Uh, it's a, you know, you've got this real early, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna beat it. So, and they were right. But uh, just because they said that did not. You know, did not make it so right, but <laughs> right. <laughs> Obviously, it kind worked of, though, so we're glad. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I did not realize that you were in one of the Back to the Future movies. How did I miss that? I don't know. I'm in Back to the Future Three. Uh, huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it was a fun time. I bet. And, Oh golly! I've you always know, thought that, Christopher that, Lloyd was a really interesting person. Was he? Was he? I worked with him three times, <laughs> uh, doing different things, and and he is, uh, he he's almost strange. He, 
Pharisees. <laughs> yeah. uh, his mind is straight on what his character is really? all the time. And uh, so that's, why, that's probably why he's so good, you know. Right. Uh, he He's just fantastic in everything he does. You can you can put an A plus on it. He's he's great. I always have thought he was a great actor. And another one that I always admired. He was kind of quirky, I think, but it's Chevy Chase. And I, you were in uh, Fletch or something with him, weren't you? Fletch. Yeah, yeah. Fletch, yeah. that was a yeah. hilarious movie. I don't know. I kind of like a, I like Chevy Chase's acting, but I I don't I think he's kind of a hard dude. I don't know. Is he pretty easy to get along with? You know what? When uh, when they cast me for the part, my agent said. You're gonna have a terrible time. <laughs> he time. is, you know, he's hard to get along with. He, yeah. he expects too much out of everybody. I loved him. Really. <laughs> the, the, the day before we we did this scene, he called me. Uh, I I never met him. He called me and said, "Hey, Martin, uh, how you doing?" Yeah. Uh, said we're over in a park in uh, uh, Beverly Hills. And he said, I don't like the scene we're doing at all. Don't like anything about it, but it, it's a scene that we have to have. He said, let you and I change it. Go, what are you doing today? I said, I'm not good. He said, why don't you come over for lunch? So I went over, met him, had lunch, and we sat down. And, and he said, we scribbled out a few things. And, and he said, look, let's just start with this thing. We know where we want to start. We know when we want to finish. Let you and I just have a good time and and, uh, and ad lib this whole thing and and uh, and wrap it up and do it our way, right. not anybody else's way. <clears throat> and then I said, "She said, I know you can do that." I said, "Yeah, I can. I love to do that." So uh, that's what we did. And you know, it, you know there's another. Uh, airplane mechanic in that scene right. with me, right? And he. And he, uh, we didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't have anything good. Yeah, because he, he, he just said a couple of lines. You know, right. That was the scene course. where Chevy Chase was going to fly or pretend to be a pilot or something, I think. It was it was a funny scene. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah uh, Chevy was saying, he, he ain't doing, I said something about, he ain't doing no stunt flying. <laughs> and he ain't, and I know he ain't saying it with the Tabernacle Choir either, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was a good picture, and Chevy thought he was going to be uh, uh, that character uh, for maybe 10 or 12 movies or more. Right. Uh, but they did one more called yep. Fletch, Di- Fletch Lives. Fletch Lives, yeah, yep. I remember that one too. But, but Fletch died <laughs> yeah <laughs> in a way it went it happens uh, that was good. yeah yeah oh gosh yeah yeah what fun times yeah so how's everything down in georgia we hanging in there man it's uh it's obviously about 60 something degrees yeah, it feels really good nice out there today wow uh, yep well it was up to 69 here yesterday right and it's and it's been rainy and cold for the last week uh it's not going to be quite as is warm today, but but uh, uh, oh, when when February comes, I know that spring is just around the corner. Well, now, do you like so I, you like winter or you like summer or what's your favorite? Oh, I like summer. Yeah, I'm with summer. you. I, I'm a I'm a good old Dallas, Texas boy, and I was raised in 100 degree weather. <laughs> Yeah, that's hot. So I can handle this. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, in Texas, you know, spring is sprung when the dogwood trees are blooming. So oh, usually man. about March, mid March, end of March. I'm a- mid mid March. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Golly, it's beautiful. Yeah, I need to come. That's what and, we were talking about today. You know that that got that new series on Yellowstone. I don't know if you watched it with Kevin Costner. Oh, I have. I have seen it three or four times. Yeah. Well, now, uh, go ahead. But it, no, go ahead. You, to me, please, it's, you go ahead. I was I think, a lie. I think it's a remake of Dallas. You remember Dallas back with Jr. <laughs> and all that? I think I remember that. You, you know what? I think they have stolen a lot of it <laughs> from, <laughs> from Dallas. They just keep I mean, they got, they got regurgitating the, the same they scripts. The, <laughs> they got the drunk chick on there and everything. You know what I'm saying? They got everything. Yeah. 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 It's, a, 
it's, it's all happens on horseback almost. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's a it's a pretty doggone good show, and I really wonder why Cosner did the thing. Uh, I guess he just wants good work because that is good work. Yeah. Thing. They're doing a great job. Yeah, they are. Uh, but, uh, you know, he is, his, his career has always been the guy, right. the one that the story is about. And that's not the way it is on, on that show. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a fine show. It's a good show. The only thing it needs is somebody saying <laughs> Count Town Lady there somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes, they need somebody who, uh, who can fart. Yeah, <laughs> that'd make it a real cowboy show. That that's right. Uh, I, I would appreciate it if you would let them know that. Yeah, they need to do a scene where they're eating a pot of beans around yeah. a fire with all the cowboys. Yeah, just have their have their yeah. pe- how their people call my person. <laughs> <laughs> they ought to get Bert. You have a part. You yeah, should suge- you should suggest that to him. They should have Bert do a cameo. I love it. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be great too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be way to go. Well, man, I sure do appreciate you calling in, and I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of folks still praying for you down here. Uh, even oh, though, I know. know. You know, I've heard from people all over the world. There are. I was on hundreds and hundreds prayer list uh, oh I, I had the most even though it was the whole time has not been fun it's still not fun I don't still feel, I don't feel just right right know? but uh, golly the, the people that were in the stories uh, you know sometimes people uh, some people will tell stories about well my daddy had this and he did that he did that well after you've heard a few of those, well, you're ready to move on to something else. Yep. But other people would just talk about life in general mm-hmm. and, and the good Lord and, and uh, uh, what uh, what this is going to do for me, uh, how, how I'm going to make a plus out of this. And they, uh, uh, people are, you know, people are really nice. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not glad I went through this, but I'm glad I got the opportunity to to meet uh, so many people through mail and uh, uh, text and, yeah, I've, a whole bunch of people. Well, I'm going to tell you, we we are definitely praying for you. You're one of our favorites. There's no doubt about it. We've been wanting to get you back right. on. And uh, like I said, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. When I found out, you called and said that you was uh, – cancer free it run chills down my back i thought wow that is okay so anyway uh and it happens you know it was just a little bit more than a month a couple of days more uh, more than six months and i'll tell you to kick cancer's butt yep in six months wow pretty uh, good job of course, there of course i didn't have uh, <clears throat> uh they caught mine early right and and we really we really knocked it out. I got to to look at all the scans all the way through, and it was fun to to see this little this little blip over here right. gone, and that little blip gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh man, yeah. All right, well, you can go ahead and fix your wife some breakfast. I know she's probably still laying in the bed, and so you're up. So you can go ahead and fix her some <laughs> scrambled eggs. Do you know what? Ever since I've been a little bit sick, uh, we have slept late. We we'll, we're about nine o'clock people now. There you go. And, That's all right. Uh, and I don't, I don't think I want to change it any. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll call that bunch up at Yellowstone. See if we can't get you on that. And uh, <laughs> okay, if you would do that, and, I'll do uh, it. And uh, I'd appreciate, like you know, uh, fifteen thousand a, <laughs> a week, something like that. Oh. I can make, I can make it on fifteen thousand. All right, I'll see if I can get you a check, but anyway. <laughs> Listen, man, thank you very much. We really love you out here, guarantee Oh, uh, Thank you. I know you do. We didn't have anything to talk about except my, my health, but I appreciate you letting me uh, lay my health out there for you, and, and I appreciate you guys praying for me because I'm one of those that believes that works. 
Amen we do that, too. Brother. We do too. All right. You take care. Thanks, okay? Burton. Okay. All right. Thank you, folks. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. This is Stephen Phillips, host of the Morning Dish. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot more interviews out there to listen to. Plus, you can listen online every morning at WJULradio.com or Lake 97.7 WJUL. And give us a like on our Facebook page, The Morning Dish.